Welcome to Magic Gathering Strat. I'm Dan and I'm about to play some Soul Sisters in Modern. You thought I had given up on Soul Sisters after my tournament defeat last Sunday, but no, I have not. It's still probably six months until I can buy a Ranger of Eos until they have dropped in price again. But I keep tracking. I don't think Ranger of Eos is the most important card in the deck. Instead of him, I'm running an Johnny Goldmane, who I think is doing a lot of work. I've cut the land, as I have so few four drops. I'm running one Avenger, and I'm running two uh, Gather the Townsfolk, and one main deck brain the elements something else I don't have that I should have in the real deck. But the biggest uh, omission is definitely the Ranger of Eos. And he peaked after Modern Masters hit and he hasn't come down yet and now he won't because uh, it's time for Modern season soon. So that's why I have to wait till February. And my opponent is Comrade GT. I am keeping this. Looks like a great hand. Chromatic Star, it's probably Tron then. Which is a problem matchup. Do I always cast the Martyr even if I don't have the Ascendant? <laughs> the, the Sarah Girls. I can't pronounce that word because I'm Swedish. And not the native English speaker, that's why I speak English like a drunk Viking. And yep, it's the red green ton tron thing. So, the one chance we have of beating his ass is um, Mr. Pride Mate. Always chess. Always yield, yes. And I should have yielded to that too. Always yes, always yield, yes. And swing for one. Uh oh. Uh, on the pure. Oh, wait a minute. Soul Satan and Martyr of Sound will give him plus two. On the pure. Yeah, that should do the more damage to play them. And then on the pure. I am scared. Oh, there is. Uh, let's play. Oh, now we will do plenty of damage here. Um, I have to play if I want the martyr to be sacrificed. Can I? I can still make it, right? Can I play Martyr? Always yes, always yield. And now I play her and then I can sacrifice next turn for... Yes, that works. And now I can swing for lethal next turn. Will it be too late? Because of corn. Ah, uh, bang. That's a bit early, a good game. Well, well, it probably is. But he still needs to kill me first. Uh, 
Did I overcommit there? I think I have to go for the throat. But I think that's one of the reasons this is such a horrible matchup for uh, Soul Sisters. Yay! Hit for two! This looks fairly hopeless. Yeah, I think I can give up then. So, the thing is that I have, based on the advice of uh, the primer and the video that I, uh, the video, I have removed all the ghost quarter, etc., and thus causing this matchup to be horrible, as I did experience in the tournament. Uh, I don't know if suppression field really does anything. Uh, Braid the elements doesn't do a lot either. Path to Exile can't do anything, right, can it? I'm not sure at all about this sideboarding, but I do think that this is probably one of the worst matchups. Especially without the reason I don't have the Ghost Quarter package is for Emeria and for Spectral Procession. Uh, but I could see how running the Ghost Quarters, running um, uh, and the Leonin Arbiters instead would make this better. Oh, this is a mess. I don't know if this does anything. I hope it does. Should make the expedition maps harder to cast at least. Uh, it doesn't affect chromatic star, those are mana abilities, right? I should keep Braid Elements mana open here. Right, I should. Okay, let's do it. I changed plan mid-action there. So I should have played the Honor of the Pure before I attacked, of course. But I don't want to cast Spectral Possession without having the mana to prevent the Pyroclasm. Okay, it didn't cost extra mana. And maybe the extra turn I took there will cost me the game. Instead of just playing Spectral Procession. Well, I'm happy to let that thing die. It was just a 1-1 one -one and I had no hope of getting it to... Because this is the way I'm gonna win! These guys. And that's why we play 
only planes. But we are close to death now when that final land arrives next turn. The primate doesn't do a whole lot here. And now I'll cast the primate to keep the clock fast enough. Oh. Corn. It's scary consistent that deck. Oh, worm coil engine. What do I do against that? Good questions all. I have no idea what I do against Wormcoil Engine. Let him get to 14. And I really regret not using the Brave Elements here. What a horrible matchup this is. His cards are so powerful. And without the Ghost Quarters and the Edges. I am just doomed. So I think we'll have to accept that... Um, ...that we have to play Ghost Quarters and then we should play the Arbiters and... ...and uh, the... Uh, ...Mind Sensors. Oh, there is two twos now. <laughs> Why didn't I? Oh, I'm so sloppy. God. I thought there were still three trees. Yeah, and costing two extra to activate is not a lot. And I can't recover from his Oblivion Stone now. But then he will blow up. Right? Actually, he's in no danger. <laughs> I'm just crushed here. It's pretty sad, really. Okay, we take out corn at least. Which we should have done last turn. Then he... Maybe he blows it? No. I wonder why. It looked like it was a good position blue. He would get the worm coil engine's tokens. Okay. Well, anyway, he's winning. And the throne matchup is just hard. <laughs> It looks so good for Soul Sisters, but Death and Taxi seems like the stronger deck. I was 8-1 with the deck. No, I wasn't. I was 6-1. Now I am 7-4. So that's a very small sample, of course. And 
now I die. Because he blows it. And Brave Elements did nothing, but it could have done something if I had actually used it. Uh, sad, 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 and Soul Sisters goes even further down. It's hard because you either have to be able to consistently cast Spectral Procession and then you just die to Tron. And making the deck have Arbiters, Ghost Quarters and Mind Sensors makes it like Death and Taxes, so why not just play Death and Taxes instead? It seems to be better, but I'm not sure. <laughs> this is my document. I'm now 7-4 with the deck and this, this is my quest for uh, decks that is no longer one of the higher ranked decks. I've also played 11 matches which uh, makes this sample bigger of course I just have to play more. But modern is, uh, it's hard to break into without spending all the money and you're always making like cutbacks on every deck. Uh, I should stick to one deck, but uh, I want to play Jan, and I don't have $700 to burn. <laughs> so I can't do that. Thank you for watching.